Right then, so as per last week, um, I was going to come up with a bucket list. I've done that. I've done a whole blog post on it. I'm sure you've read it. You might not have read it, so I'll give you the list and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to start doing... Sorry, my bow's getting a bit big. Oof. I'm going to show you the thing I've started that is on the list right after the intro. people so this week I has been mostly compiling a bucket list which you will have seen obviously because you're avid readers of my blog possibly right so the basic list is very simple and very Christmassy I'm gonna quickly run through it just in case you haven't um, hot chocolate that is gonna be achieved on Christmas Eve because we have a whole hot chocolate station my dog needs its nails cut. I'm sorry, that was the noisy dog walking past. Make a Christmas playlist. I intend doing that because Tuesday, uh, well, Christmas Day is a Tuesday, and obviously Tuesdays, Tuesdays tunes, and I do a whole thing on music, so that's fine. Watch a holiday movie favourite. We'll be doing that on Christmas Eve also because obviously the uh, Muppet Christmas movie slash Scrooged thing that we do every year is going to be happening. Make a wreath for your front door. I'm on this. Um, the stuff is all in the box. Basically, I've bought some baubles, some bells, some potpourri bits. Where did I put them? Okay, they're there somewhere. Um, so I have all these little bits and I'm going to make a... Let me just show you. I've got my phone. Two seconds. I'm back. Basically, Harriet made a really nice wreath and um, I've taken a photo. I'll show you quickly now. I did put it on Instagram actually, so it's possible you've seen it anyway. But so she used a glue gun. Um, I'm going to go old school. I've got a wire frame, and I'm going to use sort of garden wire to stick the balls on, as it were. Um, no, that's Halloween. I've got too many pictures basically on my. There we go. Let's see if this works. So that's what Harriet made. Um, as you can see it incorporates lights and stuff so I have been to the pound shop and got myself some lights and some bits and pieces so we're going to have a go at making that but the thing um, so yes yeah, that's number four on the Christmas bucket list then there was spend an evening wrapping presents I've actually wrapped some presents today I've wrapped up all the uh, Christmas Eve pyjamas which isn't really a big secret because everybody knows they get pyjamas Christmas Eve and everyone else has got boxes so I've done a bit of that so that's getting done make paper oh excuse me <coughs> choking on the uh, air um make paper snowflakes this is my ebi my even better if um because i'm gonna go a bit extra on it and i'll tell you about that in a minute go ice skating i looked up how much ice skating was in bristol they do in a big outdoor ice thing and it's like a tenner each mm, i was thinking sick of the kids but then you're looking at like 50 quid for us all to go skating and you only get 45 minutes and I'm like so maybe me and Han will just go I don't know I don't think the boys will be that interested anyway but we're, we're looking to ice skating um dressed up and attend a holiday party that was yesterday I looked fab if I do say so myself I didn't get any photos though so what I might have to do is recreate my look and take some stylish photos because I, I thought I looked all right to be honest um so let's make a Christmas list I've made a Christmas Pinterest board I am that person yes um eat a candy cane I'm sure I'm gonna do that um I've actually got a craft planned with that that's one of the advent things um I have a whole box of where are they I have a whole box of candy canes and I've got a craft plan so we're going to be doing that as well um take a family photo that's our Christmas, that's our New Year's Eve thing. Um, basically, we do a last man standing photo. So at 12 o'clock, we take a photo of everybody who's still awake. And we had quite a few of us in it last year. It's quite impressive, but often people just go to bed and they can't handle it. Uh, leave cookies for Father Christmas. Um, I'm also reliably informed he's into gin. So I will be leaving him gin and probably some of those little sausages, red and bacon and, you know, things that he will definitely like. So that's what I'll be doing. But the craft um, about the snowflakes, 
I had this idea. So we did Halloween at work and we did a whole Day of the Dead thing. We used these puffy paper things that we made out of tissue. So I bought a job lot of tissue from Card Factory and white tissue. And I was going to make these pom-poms and I was going to do this. And while I was in the pound shop, um, so I did a blog, <coughs> a blog post about all the things I bought in the pound shop, I came across in their wedding section of all places these flower pom poms. Now it says 30 centimeters diameter um, and uh, includes hanging wire. Um, now, as some of you ladies will think, 30 centimeters is the size of a ruler. Pretty, you know, about a foot. Um, when I puffed it up, not only did I not get wire, it didn't seem as big as it was promised. If you know what I mean. So, <laughs> so my either. Um, so the plan had been, I was going to make a couple of these, ding, 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 three, another two, and it's going to be a cloud. It's going to be a snow cloud, because then what I'm going to do is I bought these the other year. It's entirely possible I left them somewhere inappropriate and unsuitable, and they've gone... I don't know, rusty, gluey, I don't really know what's happened to them, but I'm going to be using a little bit ALS or whatever it is, the funny noises. I've got the headphones on. Um, it smells really weird. That's odd. Okay, not sure what's happened there. That's. I think they've been stuck in with the other Christmas stuff. Very strange. Right, and so from this cloud, I'm going to have dangly pearl drops and then also um, a pot of our pearls out there. See, now this one was longer than I expected. Right, um, I bought this range, it's called the Winter Wonderland range. Let me just grab bits of it, talk among yourselves for a moment. Oh, I need it rightly. Right, so um, <clears throat> um, for uh, our Christmas Eve foodie party thing. I've got myself um, a runner from the pound shop, which was featured in the blog the other day in the packet. But then there's also this little runner that's going to go over the top. It's like a laser cut felt thing, which is rather ooh, interesting. It's got like snowflakes going on. Um, and they also had coasters. Now, um, I took the coasters out of the packet and you could push out the um, bits here, which look like antlers. If you look, see, yeah, look, look at that. So I've got loads of little felt blue antlers that I need to something to do with. But the point is, these snowflakes can hang on pearls and hang off the clouds. And then I'm hoping I've bought myself some of those hooks that you can get. They're um, they're at the very bottom of my craft box. Oh, I've gathered together all of the stuff that I've put back for craft, and it turns out that I own about 12 pairs of scissors. I've grouped them all together. They're obviously never in the same place at the same time, so I didn't realise how many I owned. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's about nine pairs of scissors, which seems excessive, really, considering I'm the only bugger that actually wraps any of the presents up. I don't know why we need that many pairs of scissors, but there you go. Um, yeah, what was I saying? So I've got these snowflakes. I've got about eight of these. I've got my pearls and I've got my um, puffy snow clouds. So I'm going to have a go at creating a bit of a cloud thing that I'm going to hang from the ceiling. So that should be quite interesting. I'm going to have a go at that now. Um, and then I'm going to get the photos and they'll be on the blog. When I put this up on Monday, it's now Saturday night, this will be up. I should have finished the whole thing and there'll be photos. So you need to go and look at the blog to see the finished thing because I'm not going to have time to do it now because I've got to edit this and then I've got to go shopping with Pat and then we've got to do all this and then ah 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 Christmas stress so um I need to make some more of these up I need to get all this done and I need to write a blog post for tomorrow so I'm going to leave it there um hopefully you'd like to go and look at the blog and have a look and see what this turned out like depending on the lighting because I'm having a horrific time taking photos at the moment because the lighting here is just pants um but yeah that's it so next week i will have hopefully done some more stuff from the christmasy bucket list 
if not the real bucket list. <gasps> right, okay, uh, I've bought Jeremy a Christmas present. Um, it's fine, he's upstairs and he doesn't watch my videos, so it's perfectly acceptable. Um, because I'm in Bristol, and Bristol is the home of street art and Banksy and spraying things, um, I've signed me and Toby up to go and do a class on doing murals that are like a uh, stencil, like Banksy style, because Toby's doing GCSE art, so I thought he'd like that. Um, one of the things on the actual kettle list is make a mural, so this is technically the blah, technically. I can't speak anymore. I don't know what's happening. And this is technically not going to be a mural, this is going to be um, spray art on a card. But it's going to be um, sort of skills, and then if I learn how to do it, the plan is I'd like to actually make a mural either on a wall or somebody else's wall, or I don't know what constitutes a mural. More mural, mural, mural. Yeah, anyway, so that's something I've got anyway, so that'll be quite fun and something I'll be doing in January, so I'll be able to tell you about that. And oh, I've got a whole new year, new me, new thing going on, so that's going to be in the review at the end of the year. Let's get Christmassy stuff out of the way first. And ah, therefore, <clears throat> shuffle, shuffle. Go subscribe, please. Very kind. Do you notice I've got like my 50 subscribers? Very smugly please on myself. I mean, fair enough, five of them are my mum, but that doesn't matter. 50. Very proud of myself. Um, so yes, you go press this button here to subscribe. You can go look here to see other Christmassy things or to look back at that bucket list I was chatting about last week. And I shall see you all next week. Bye for now. Bye.